acids, bases, and salt. Introduction A large number of compounds can be made by the combination of various elements. More than 3 million compounds are already known to us. It is practically impossible for anyone to learn the composition and properties of each compound. Therefore, all the compounds can be divided into three classes of compounds, which are known as acids, bases, and salts. Indicators Substances such as litmus, which changing their color when treated with acidic or basic solutions are called indicators. Litmus, phenolephthalene, and methyl orange are examples of indicators. All acids and bases affect one or the other indicator. You can also make your own acid-base indicators from the juice of a red cabbage or beetroot. Colors of indicators The color in acidic and alkaline mediums of the three commonly used indicators are given in the table above. Acids Acid is the Latin word for sour and the term acid was introduced in chemistry to name that group of compounds which have a sour taste. Cold drinks contain some carbonic acid which gives them tingling taste. Apples contain malic acid. In lemons, oranges and grapes there is citric acid. Gooseberries have tartaric acid. Even the digestion of food in our body depends upon the presence of hydrochloric acid. These substances are examples of naturally occurring acids. The acids present in foodstuffs are weak. Chemists have prepared several important industrial acids synthetically. These are often manufactured from minerals and are therefore known as inorganic acids or more commonly as mineral acids. The most important mineral acids are sulfuric acid, H2SO4, nitric acid, HNO3, and hydrochloric acid, HCl. These acids are very strong. General properties of acids. All acids have a sour taste. Take a clean test tube full of water. Put one drop of HCl into the test tube with the help of a glass rod or a dropper. Close the end with your thumb and shake the test tube. Taste the wet thumb and shake. How does it taste? It tastes sour. This activity shows that all acids have a sour taste. All acids turn blue litmus and methyl orange red. Take a little dilute HCl or H2SO4 in three separate test tubes and number them as 1, 2 and 3. Add two drops of blue litmus, methyl orange and phenolphthalein in test tubes 1, 2 and 3 respectively. What change in color do you observe? You will notice that blue litmus and methyl orange turn red whereas phenolphthalein remains colorless. Acids are compounds that contain hydrogen. The molecular formulae of some commonly used acids are given. Acids are compounds which form hydronium ions, H3O positive, in aqueous solutions. Let us see the reaction of some acids with water, H2O, that are shown above. Acids react with carbonates and bicarbonates to liberate carbon dioxide. Carbonates plus acid gives salt plus carbon dioxide. Bicarbonates plus acid gives salt plus water plus carbon dioxide. Other acids on reacting with carbonates and bicarbonates show a similar reaction. The products of such reactions are salt of the acid, water and carbon dioxide. Some examples of such reactions are shown above. Action of HCl on CaCO3. Take a small amount of calcium carbonate, CaCO3, in a test tube and add about 2 milliliters of dilute HCl to it. What do you observe? You will notice brisk effervescence. Pass the evolving gas into lime water. What change in color do you notice? Lime water will turn milky. The gas evolved is therefore carbon dioxide. The equation of the reaction is given above. Acid An acid is a substance whose molecule has one or more replaceable hydrogen atoms and which produces hydronium ions, H3O positive, in water. 
basicity of acids. The number of replaceable hydrogen atoms in an acid is called the basicity of that acid. For example, HCl has one replaceable hydrogen. Hence, its basicity is one and we call it monobasic. Similarly, the basicity of sulfuric acid H2SO4 is 2 or it is dibasic. The basicity of phosphoric acid H3PO4 is 3 or it is a tribasic acid and so on. The basicity of some common acids are given above. Uses of acids are tabulated above. Bases a base is a compound whose molecule is made up of one or more hydroxyl OH negative groups attached to the ion of some metal. Composition of bases Sodium hydroxide NaOH, potassium hydroxide KOH and calcium hydroxide CaOH2 are soluble in water. These soluble bases are called alkalis. Many bases do not dissolve in water. For example, Hydroxide CuOH2, ferric hydroxide FeOH3, and aluminium hydroxide AlOH3. All hydroxides are bases and only water soluble bases are alkalis. Therefore, all alkalis are bases, but all bases are not alkalis. The relationship between bases and alkalis are explained above. General properties of bases Bases are compounds that contain hydroxyl. OH negative groups. All bases give hydroxyl OH negative ions in solutions. Bases have bitter taste. Bases and alkali solutions are soapy to touch. Reaction with indicators. The reaction of bases with indicators will be clear from the following activity. Base with indicator. Take a little dilute solution of caustic soda or caustic potash KOH in three separate test tubes and number them as 1, 2 and 3. Add two drops of methyl orange, red litmus and phenolphthalein in each test tube separately. What changes in color do you observe? You will observe that methyl orange turns yellow, red litmus turns blue and phenolphthalein turns pink. Bases react with acids to give salt and water as shown above. Acidity of bases the number of replaceable hydroxyl OH negative ions in a base is called the acidity of that base. Uses of bases Some of the uses of commonly used bases are given in the table. Neutralization Take 5 milliliters of dilute caustic soda NaOH solution in a beaker. Add a few drops of phenolphthalein and stir it well with a glass rod. What is the color of the solution? Add a few drops of dilute hydrochloric acid at a time by means of a dropper and gently stir as shown in the figure. Do you see any change in the color of the indicator? Repeat this and similarly observe the change. If any, continue adding a few drops of acid solution at a time while stirring till the color just disappears. Now, Add carefully one more drop of the caustic soda solution and again add a drop of the acid solution. What happens to the color? It is evident from above that the solution is pink when it is alkaline while it is colorless when it is acidic. The effect of adding acid is to destroy the alkaline property while by adding alkali destroys the acidic property. The resulting solution is neither acidic nor basic. The resulting solution contains only salt and water. The equation for the above reaction is NaOH plus HCl gives NaCl plus H2O. Note that the hydroxyl OH negative group of the base has combined with hydrogen H positive of the acid to form a molecule of water. Sodium chloride salt is also formed. Neutralization a reaction between an acid and an alkali with the formation of salt and water is called neutralization reaction. Uses of salts are tabulated above. 